All right, so the plan is to put a three to one gear reduction drive on this baby. Right now it's got a five to one. It's got lots of lots of power, but just not enough speed yet. So we're gonna uh, do that. Uh, hopefully in the next day or two, get some video of it taking off and uh, get a bunch of high speed and more thrust out of her. All right, so I uh, I just pulled the wires out of what I what I had going into the electric box uh, here on the surfboard, and I want to put the three to one reduction gear drive. So I need to pull this apart and um, put the three to one reduction drive. Right now it's got a five to one. And we'll see what the power is and the thrust is uh, tomorrow or the following day. More or less, I'm going to throw in this other reduction gear drive. This is a uh, three to one and that should give us quite a bit more uh, power. We'll see what the current is when we're drawing. So right now with the five to one, we are with um, about 4,500 RPM, and with the three to one, we can go up to about be about uh, 7,500, uh, 8,000 RPM. So that's the plan. All right. So I just uh, I just undid this little coupler Allen key, and then as I rotate it, there's one more little Allen key here, which I loosened off as well. So now the shaft, the propeller, more or less turns without turning the motor. So this whole unit now from this this whole section here. Can actually uh, slide right off so I'm just going to spin that off if I can just get a hold of it here here we go this whole thing should just come right off I use lots of threads because I want to make sure that uh, we don't strip the threads and everything blows apart. I put lots of grease and oil in there. So there is the shaft. Here's the inside. I've got a an O-ring. Let's bring it over here a bit here. You can see here. I've got a black O-ring, lots of grease. Uh, and then I've got another shaft seal there. There's a shaft seal. Uh, this one doesn't have the shaft seal on the outside, just the way the 3D printed was. But uh, we put it on the inside here in case there's pressure from heat the pressure will make the shaft seal actually work even better and sit deeper into there. So this is the, this is that unit right there. And down in there, we've got more or less the uh, reduction gear. So I'm going to thread this off, pull it out. I'll have to pull these wires through and undo this giant rubber uh, kind of bung that's through here. So the wires will, will pull through and this whole unit will slide out this end for me to change. So that's what we're going to do now. Alright, so I just uh, pulled this through. This is the reduction gear drive, which I'm going to undo the four bolts there, undo this ring of bolts, and inside there will be a couple bolts attached into here. So I'm going to undo this whole assembly, swap this out for a different reduction gear drive. And you can see here, this is the rubber bung that uh, seals the other end. You can see I've just put the three wires right through it. And uh, pretty straightforward. And uh, let me just work on doing that right now. All right, so I got the reduction gear drive off. So now I'm just going to pop out these six bolts, put the other reduction gear drive on, and uh, put it back together. All right, so there's the reduction gear drive. Five to one. Plastic uh, 3D printed coupler, and now we're going to put the new, the three to one reduction drive on. Just got to make sure we put it in the right way so that it's not backwards uh, going in. Obviously, one side is the input shaft, the other side is the output shaft. All right, so I just noticed I was going to go put this on. Just noticed that this shaft has got one of these funky things sticking out of it and I noticed on a few forums people have talked about it uh, you can order these with different different types of shafts whether it has a groove 
this weird thing on it uh, or already a filed out flat spot now this one I got is I just got off the shelf so obviously I've got to grind that down I got to grind a flat spot so that I can throw one of these one of these little couplers on slide it on and uh, the little tighten screws will go so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna grind this up all right so I just stuck this in the vise and that little lump here you can see on this one that sticks out the key more or less I just put some vice grips on it I grabbed it and pulled it out so I'm gonna try the same with this we'll see if this one will uh, this one will come out there we go perfect little tiny there so it makes it easier to grind now I've just got this little void in there and that's the spot I'll grind which makes it even easier to grind so I'm just going to show you a couple video or photos of kind of putting it back together so I end up grinding down the 3 to 1 reduction gear uh, shafts and I installed it back onto place here you can see in this photo it's back onto the 3d printed couplers and then I put the next part on which bolts into the 3 to 1 reduction gear and as I put that on I uh, make sure I use Loctite and also use Loctite on the coupler in the shaft which needs to be installed next and then from there we more or less go ahead and we can put the prop assembly on and once you do that then we're pretty much done we just had to rewire the ends put the bung in and away we went all right well the next time we see you we will be testing out the three to one reduction drive on the surfboard see what kind of uh, speed it has and how much pull it can give us it uh, should have a lot more thrust and probably draw a lot more current as well.